And so what I'm going to do is, is even more, I'm going to come and, and just really press those edges down, make, making them kind of smooth, smoothing out any of the ridges that might still exist. I really love for this edge to be nice and thin because it's what helps us to get this kind of uh, crackling, this very uh, realistic looking crackling and, and mm -hmm. fraying that you get. Oh. And so that's what we're going to do next. And so I like to take um, just a, a ball stylus, uh, whatever, uh, one of the smaller ends, small-ish, that's not real small. <laughs> For me, that's small, because I use this size too. Um, but then you want to come and uh, you're going to be pressing down and in and making an indentation. And I go ahead and you can see I even scooch some of the clay. It looks like I'm making a mess and right. I'm ruining this thing, but I, uh, this is just part of what helps make it real, look realistic. Um, so I go ahead and I just randomly add some of these ridges. I'm pushing down quite hard. Uh, I don't know if uh, you can mm -hmm. see that, but it's it's quite thin it down in there. Deep, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I'll go ahead and put another one here. So that's what I've got right now. We're going to come, and I'm just trying to get any remnants of other ink out of my brush, and. I just want the littlest amount of yellow. Way too much. Just ever so slight. And I'm just going to come in here and paint this. And you see how slight that is? Mm -hmm. Just a little tiny bit, that's all you need. That's why I call it a, a, a blush. Wow. Okay. So now I'm going to take this and I'm going to turn it over face down um, so that this fatter end is near my right hand because I'm going to be making my slashes in this after I remove this plastic. I'm going to be cutting the gills and I need to have them facing the direction that works for my hands. I'm going to be making uh, slashes in this mushroom in such a fashion. I'm going very slow. I'm showing you how the angle is, the blade is angled, and I'm going very slow. I will be going faster uh, to do this in a minute, but I just want you to see what I'm doing. I am have the blade angled and I'm going along and I'm making indent uh, uh, slices and slashing into it, I'm not cutting all the way through them. No. Oh. I'm keeping this blade angled and I'm going to come along and I'm going to just oh my. slashing it sideways. only going this way and you're just you just keep doing it. Now, I will tell you that sometimes the this angle is hard for people. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's hard for me and so one of the things that you can do is you can take a tile and instead of laying the the mushroom the that teardrop piece down on your glass, you can put it right on your tile. And then what that allows you to do is to hold it Oh. and to get a little bit of a different, you know, a, a more control and to be able to hold it at different angles because down here that's kind of hard. Your hand gets in the way. Yeah. Okay? Now you're pounding, but you're not I'm cutting. I'm cutting. It sounds yeah. like I'm pounding because I'm just, what I'm doing is I'm trying to make these little cuts while also lifting up yeah. a little bit so you can kind of see some of them coming up. I, I'm sure someone could go along very slowly like this and achieve the same thing. Mm -hmm. um, but I've gotten to where this is just the way I do it. Mm -hmm. And so I just want to tell you right now, I just cut all the way through. I felt myself wow. cut all the way through. Okay. That's okay because as we conti I continue doing this, I'm going to heal up that cut I made. Mm -hmm. The pounding helps do that. So I'm going to keep doing this. 
going this way, and I'm actually focusing on making sure that when I make those cuts, I really get up into here. Because that's that edge that I want to tear a little bit. Once you've gone back and forth several times this way, then you're going to come and you're going to go the other direction. Okay, so you're going to be going against the grain that you did. So I'm going to come over this way and now I'm going to come this like so. And I'm doing it in the fan shape. And what happens is that these little pieces, when you're cutting, you're cutting over ones you already cut. Mm -hmm. And it kind of makes little flakes come up. And that is what you want. That's what makes it look realistic. Wow. So I'm going to, though, now I want to focus a little bit more on this edge up here because it doesn't look like it quite got as much of the cuts. And I really want it to be kind of shredded a little bit. Uh, I've been going this way. I'm going to come back this way again and come up here. And I'm actually going to come and make some purposeful cuts where I cut all the way through and that will help those edges to tear up mm -hmm. as I'd like them to. I have that done. I want to go ahead and get another piece, a, a little piece of the same clay that we've been using here that we mixed up. And I'm going to just roll a little um, uh, tube, if you will, to form it, to put on the throat of the uh, mushroom. So you can see here I'm going to bring both of my hands are on that blade and I'm going to gently come around to the other side of this mushroom. I'm not, don't want to do anything to those gills. I don't want to harm them and I'm going to now, you see what I did there? 